Ethiopia occupies an area of slightly less than twice the size of the U.S. state of Texas or approximately the size of the country of Bolivia. It has been on our bucket list for some time, so we made sure to include it on our itinerary early in the planning process. Because of the country's sheer size, we decided to fly from Addis Ababa to our first stop, Bahirdar. This is where we met our guide, Burhan, and our driver, Alex. On the same day we arrived, we made a visit to our first site together, the Falls of the Blue Nile. On the following day, we visited three of the dozen or so Ethiopian Orthodox monasteries in the Lake Tana area. Many monasteries date from the late 16th or early 17th century, though most were founded much earlier. We had the opportunity to visit the Azwa Maryam Religious School, where boys are being trained to become monks. We met briefly with a monk who attended the same religious school 15 years earlier. Our next stop was Gondor, where we visited several sites. The first was the Debron Berham Selassie's Church. This structure is one of the most stunning churches in the nation. On the ceiling, you can find rows and rows of winged cherubs. Next, we visited the royal enclosure. The entire compound contains numerous castles and palaces. It was almost completely restored with the aid of UNESCO and was made a World Heritage Site in 1979. Finally, we took a horse-drawn carriage to the Fasilates bath. Once a year, the bath is filled with water for the Timkat celebration. On the following day, we departed for Debark, the jumping off point for our trek in the Simeon Mountains. After getting some last-minute supplies, we started up the long, arduous dirt road. Massive erosion over the years has created one of the most spectacular landscapes in the world with jagged mountain peaks, deep valleys, and sharp cliffs dropping some 4,900 feet or 1,500 meters. Almost immediately we were treated to sightings of Gelda baboons. It was just so much fun to watch them. We saw several hundred of them while we were in the park. Too much later, we saw several clip springer antelope. We continued trekking until we reached the Jinbar waterfall. Because the terrain is so extreme, establishing an accurate height of these falls has been difficult. One estimate puts the height at about 1,600 feet or 488 meters. We came across these two young shepherds on the third day. The Walia ibex is a type of goat found nowhere else in the world. Here, a male is seen eating his favorite food. The leaves are the Lobelia plant. On our last full day in the park, we had the opportunity to pay a visit to the Argonjana School. This is 
one of the most remote schools we have visited on our journey so far. It is located about 36 miles or 58 kilometers from Dabar and is at an altitude of 11,155 feet or 3,400 meters.